Hey, what's up, Limit Heads? Welcome to episode three of Liberty Loft Lessons. Today, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be teaching you one of my all-time favorite songs. I literally can't think of a song that I like better than this one. I'm definitely one of my favorite artists right now. The song is Marinade, and the artist is Dope Lemon. So for those of you who don't know, Dope Lemon is sort of a side project for Angus Stone. He's an Australian artist. He also performs with his sister. They have a band together called Angus and Julia Stone. You should check them out as well. I'll probably be doing one of their songs in the future. But anyway, what I love about this song and a lot of Angus's songs, there's a bunch of guitar sections and you can just loop them on top of each other. Especially if you have a loop station like the one I have here. So if you got one of these guys, you're in business. You can really have a lot of fun playing along with a lot of his tracks. And this one is by far one of my favorite tracks to play along to. Also, this lesson I'm gonna do a little bit differently in that I'm going to divvy this song up into four main sections that I think are important. There's a bass line and there's a kind of a background section during the verse, but really, I think you can split it up into four main sections. So first section is gonna be the intro riff that you loop over and over. The second part would be the chords that you play over the riff, they're kind of in the background. The third part is gonna be your chorus, which is really simple, pretty easy. And then the fourth part is gonna be that solo that he plays twice, right after each chorus. After each section, instead of jumping straight onto the next one with the tabs, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna say some quick things that the tabs might not point out that I think is kind of important when playing the song, in my opinion, of course. I mean, you're free to play it however you want and skip that part. I'll probably add timestamps if you want to do that but otherwise just some quick things that I've kind of picked up on I've listened to this song hundreds and hundreds of times literally I think when I first heard it I probably listened to it on repeat for weeks so you know little things that I might have caught in my ear you might want to hear so definitely stick around for that because that's what's going to be different about this lesson so another thing that's different about this lesson as well as you might have noticed I ditched the webcam camera and I'm using actually my phone camera on this one ditched the microphone as well so let me know how you guys like it as always it's all about the music, so good vibes only. Let's get into the song. All right, so I'm sure many of you have one of these. If you don't, I recommend you get one. These things are awesome. This one's a Boss RC3 loop station. For this song, I found a generic loop. It's this one here. It's number two. Da -na -na -na. Actually, that's a little bit slow, so I'm gonna speed it up. That's good. Just like that. All right, so I got my loop station ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start this loop with this riff, and now I'm gonna just jump right into the chords that I'm gonna layer on top of it. So let's do it. about that opening part. The first thing you might have noticed is on my Les Paul here, I use my neck pickups. And what that does, it gives me like a fatter, warmer tone. If you listen to the track, you'll notice that opening riff has that pretty warm tone to it. So I prefer on my Les Paul here, leave it on rhythm so I can get just the neck pickups here. Another thing I want to mention is that slide up, which I know you can see in the tabs, but I just wanted to mention that again. What you don't want to do is pick it a second time. So I'll show you the wrong way to play it real quick. So you you know what I'm talking about. That's not what you want. You want to let it ring out and then drag it up like this. No extra pick. So like this. That's what you want for that part right there. A third thing I want to mention is for those chords. So it goes from a B minor to a D to a G to a D again. So for that part, I actually like to use the bridge pickup because it's a lot thinner. And if you listen to the song, it's kind of a little bit softer in the background. I like, I mean, come on now. The reason you're watching this video is the main riff is 
sick. So we got that part down already. This is just kind of some background noise, the chord progression here. So this is gonna be a little bit lower volume here. Like I said, I, I prefer using the treble or the bridge pickups for this part here. Another thing I wanna mention about this section here, it's got a groove to it. What I like to do is kind of like a slow, fast type of strum pattern. Let me show you what I mean. This is how it's supposed to sound. Slow down, quick up, and then when you when you go to that D, you go down, wait a little bit, and you go. So like that. You can do the same thing with the G that you did with the B minor. So. Just like that, boom, you got your loop. <laughs> then you can start spitting the verse. So you got attacked by a pack of dogs. She said it's all right. So not much really to explain there. I just like to use my pinky and ring finger, kind of like a power chord shape, to play a seventh fret of the G and B strings. And just, I like to down strum it. I don't think it really alternate, just down strum is fine. And just a little space on the last one. And then uh, I like to shift down here. It'll be your seventh fret E and your eighth fret B string. Hit those three times and then move it down with your index and your ring. So now your fifth fret E, seventh fret B, and hit that three times. And just repeat, so. And then it goes straight into the solo, which I'm about to show you right now. So that riff is kind of self-explanatory or solo. The only thing I would mention, I would recommend to alternate pick on this part here, where it goes. I mean, it's up to you. I guess you could down pick it, but I prefer an alternate pick right there, and you're pretty much free to do whatever you want on the rest. You pretty much see from the tabs what to do. All right, so that completes the lesson. I want to thank you guys for sticking all the way through the video. Thank you for liking and hopefully subscribing. I've had great interaction on the past two videos. For me, that's like a handful of likes and uh, maybe a subscriber or two. I'm super appreciative to my 10 subscribers. I wanna thank you guys so much. And when I get a notification on my phone for a new subscriber, it makes all this totally worth it. It's a ton of work, honestly, to make these videos. I'll spend hours after work or whatever putting these things together. Really, it's not the filming, it's the editing. Anybody will tell you on YouTube. So like I said, if you guys wanna keep seeing lessons and you wanna keep this thing going and you guys are actually getting something out of it, please drop a like, please subscribe if you like. Also, if you learn this track and you were gonna do a cover or something, please upload it and drop it down below in the comments. I'm really serious about that. I would love to see what some of you guys come up with because I know most of you watching this are much better than I am. Thank you for watching all the way through. Once again, I wanna remind you guys, it's not about me. It's not about Liberty Lock Lessons. It's all about the music. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.